Rudolph Valentino was the most popular film star of the 1920s silent era. He was born in 1895 to a French mother and Italian father. He grew up in Italy. When he migrated to New York, his godfather helped him get his first job. He was a taxi dancer, who was a person who danced with a variety of partners in a cafe for 10 cents a dance. Valentino being an above average dancer began to perform for New York society. Later, it was Valentino who introduced the Argentinian tango to America, when he performed it in his first film, The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse in 1921. Valentino once said, Women are not in love with me but the picture of me on the screen. I am merely the canvas upon which the women paint their dreams. On screen, Valentino was known for his deep penetrating gaze. In real life, Valentino was never lucky in his marriages or love affairs. When Valentino first started acting, he was in a string of B-rated movies. It was during this time his mother died and he fell in love with a small-time actress by the name of Jean Acker. Acker was not attracted to men but Valentino was not aware of this so he proposed. Acker accepted thinking it might be a good way to avoid scandal in her own life. He moved on when he discovered the truth. It's the shortest marriage in Hollywood history. It lasted only six hours. Valentino made a trip to San Francisco. He brought a ring at a jewelry store, despite warnings from the owner that the ring was cursed. He wore the ring while shooting his next film, The Young Raja, which turned out to be the only flop of his career. Valentino put the ring away and didn't wear it again until he went to New York following the filming of The Son of the Sheik. A few weeks after the premiere of Son of the Sheik, allegedly while wearing the ring, Valentino collapsed at the Hotel Ambassador in New York. Initially diagnosed with appendicitis, it was discovered that he had ulcers mimicking appendicitis. Doctors were initially confident in his recovery, but he soon developed an infection on the abdominal tissues. His condition worsened, and he died on the 23rd of August 1926 at the age of 31. After Valentino's death, his lover Pola Negri was given her choice of mementos from Valentino's collection. She chose the ring and almost immediately fell gravely ill. She survived and a few years later met singer and actor Russ Colombo. Negri gave Colombo the ring. A few days later, Colombo died in a mysterious shooting incident at the hands of a friend. The ring next went to Colombo's best friend Joe Casino, who lodged the ring in a glass case and refused to remove it, even to donate it to the Valentino Museum. Eventually, he decided the cursed ring was false and removed the ring from the case. Within a week of putting on the ring, he was hit by a truck and killed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.